boom kadeem kabam guys this is games techno back with another video and it is a live story video don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like it without further ado let's kick it off it was a pretty busy start of the day for me and my sister. We were like 5 minutes late for our usual time for the school. We used to go there on a gearless scooter. But yeah, as we were late, I was going on a pretty decent speed of like 40 km per hour, I don't know. But yeah, then we have a long roadway to our school on which we can go on 60 to 70 km per hour which is neither a uh, too high speed or something. I crossed that road anyways and we were very close to our school and there it comes a four way road or the cross section, I don't know how to like. But yeah, there was a guy in his school uniform, not of our school, on his bicycle crossing the road perpendicular to me fucking blindly. He never ever glanced over the road before crossing or moving from the road. I just hovered my hand over the brake of the scooter as soon as I can but BAM it is an accident and let me tell you guys like I was on the speed mark of 20 to 30 kilometers per hour maximum maximum I'm telling you and genuinely telling you we never got any serious wound or stuff like that from that accident just a little bit of scratch and a wound on my knee but now our time was up and his time was now who he who are you fooling you know, the person who got hit by me, first, a person, probably his dad, came by and tried to get him to his feet, but his legs were like refusing to do so. After a minute or so of the cool down, he was back on his feet. People obviously gathered, there were like 10 to 15 people to see what just happened. And there was a policeman who was actually a parent of a child studying in our school. So when everything settled up, they were like, yeah, you can go now, boy. I was like, okay. Just then, the nightmare strike out of nowhere. The principal of our school anyhow got there and I never knew that this was gonna be freaking bad news for me. As soon as she came, like, he hugged and caressed the child that was affected by the accident. And then, I was the demon indeed sitting in front of him on my scooter. She like slapped me thrice, two times on my upper back and then on my face but the slaps were quite bearable and kinda slow as her age is around 60 but yeah. So then you may think everything was over? No, 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 hold on guys. We got into the school, my dad was called by school and not only that, in the assembly hall, the accident scene was described by my respected principal. Like, l let me tell you, a boy of our school was late from his house and so he was riding too fast that, he's, that he just crashed into a boy on his bicycle. He also had his sister with him. After the accident, 150 to 200 people gathered there and called police. I just arrived at the time and took him over here or else they would have sued him or something. I was like, what the fuck? Like sitting in my class with no one cause everyone was in the assembly ground just listening to this announcement. I was like, out of my mind, you know, out of my mind. That was completely false data, but yeah, I could have, I, I could have done nothing. But later on, I was like explaining to everyone about what really just happened. I was really happy that most of my friends and teachers were more concerned about my well-being rather than what fucking happened, and like becoming a fucking idiot and taking interest in that stuff. But I just wanted to tell you that, anyways. But yeah, I'm sorry to that guy if it was that bad of a collision, which I know that it was not. And yeah, no offense for anyone. That's all for today's video guys. See you guys in the next one.